We moored in South Stoke. It's not near Stoke in the Potteries, this is Stoke uh, near Gorin. Gorin, the village of Gorin, is about half a mile this way. The way we're going today. The reason you can't see the river is you saw the river when we moored here last time, so we just turned the camera around. Showing them that this time. Yeah, the trees, look at the pretty trees. <laughs> Guess what's in there? Uh, wood, <sighs> leaves. <laughs> there's a load of red kites, you can probably hear them in the background. And there's dozens and dozens of them. Yeah. And they live in those trees, I think they're nesting in there, and the circle ahead and over the river. And it's amazing watching them, I've never seen so many red kites in one, I don't know, what do you call them, a pack, a bunch? A pack? Flock? A pack, like a pack of know. penguins. Pack you know of, I mean? Yeah, pick up a penguin. Uh, right opposite where we're moored, which is right here, is Withymead Nature Reserve. And I was going to go over, I had a look on the website, and it says it welcomes artists and naturists. So I went over all, and it said natural, <laughs> naturalists. Well, at least I found out why they call them twitchers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So it's been a lovely morning. The geese are very noisy on a morning. On a morning, half past four. Is that what time the start? Half past four. There's like one that it's it's the one's responsibility to wake up all the geese on this part of the River Thames, and it literally, doesn't it? It literally goes up and down the bank, yeah, screaming its head off, and then they all start. <laughs> it's brilliant. Oh my lordy! Today we're making a 12-mile trip from South Stoke through Goring down towards Reading. We're heading for Reading. Two important things in Reading. One, it's the junction with the Kennet and Avon Canal. <laughs> and two, did I say two or did I say one? Two. I have no idea. We have a very important meeting. We do. And you'll find out about it in due course. You will. Uh, but yeah, very important meeting, which I'm looking forward to. I am, today. yes, I am. So, second poo done. Second poo done. Have you made us cheese sandwiches? Oh no, that's another channel in <laughs> it. Come on, let's crack on. Bye. One down, four, four to go. <laughs> uh, that's Cleve Lock. It's the shallowest lock at two foot three. And a weird, weird fact. You know I like my weird facts. Yes. The distance between Cleve Lock and the one behind it, Benson Lock, is the longest on the Thames. Right. The distance between Cleve Lock and the next one at Gorin is the shortest on the Thames. Oh, right. Absolutely useless information. That's Goring Bridge, that's Goring Lock, and this is the village of Goring. Your hair's stuck up. It's a pretty little village, in fact it's a lovely little village. It is really nice. In fact it was voted south of England best village. Was it? Well not recently but a few years ago so right. it's, it's, it's gone downhill a bit by the sounds of it. <laughs> uh, but it is really nice, so yeah. nice in fact that it's no surprise that pop superstar George Michael decided to live here. Yes. He lived in Mill Cottage, which is just next to St. Thomas of Canterbury Church. Lovely little cottage. It's funny how he lived in a cottage, isn't it? <laughs> it's what he would have always wanted. Yes. <laughs> and it was his long time home for many, many years until he died in 2016. It is lovely, isn't it? It is beautiful. And his house is beautiful. It's sold. Last year, have a guess how much it sold for. Oh, I've no idea. But it's I... only a little cottage. But I couldn't afford it. <laughs> 3.4 million pounds. Wow.
That is Gatehampton Railway Bridge. Carries the Great Western Main Line that way and that way. <laughs> there was only one way in the last take. It was built by the master of the Industrial Revolution, Isambard Kingdom Brunel. Mm. <laughs> Go on Google, it has reviews. It, honestly, it does. Luke Alford, le he left a five star review on Google, it says this bridge is a very good bridge, <laughs> as without it, my train could have crashed. <laughs> Seriously, go and have a look. Oh my lord. Just across those reeds, you can just see a little house kind of nestled in the countryside. It's called Ferry Cottage. And it's been there years, a couple of hundred years or more. And there's a few stories Bomber Harris used to own it. You remember Ooh, Bomber Harris? I do. How to take that? <laughs> were it? Or were it village people? <laughs> were it? I don't know. No, I'm sure I saw him on top of the box once. No? Oh, anyway, uh, in 1893, Oscar Wilde rented that cottage for the summer. Ooh. And he took his boyfriend, Lord Alfred Douglas, there, and they had a steamy summer, apparently. Because back in those days, it was illegal not to have a steamy summer, but for two young guys to have a steamy summer. It was, summer. yes. And his dad found out and told on him. Really? Not much of a dad. And he went to prison for two years hard labour. And when he got out of prison, there was he wasn't the man he was. Train. So he kind of went over to France and lived in exile and died a couple of years later. That's not a nice story, is it? It's sad, isn't it? Today, our Mavic 2 Pro drone decided to malfunction and fall into some really high trees just at the back over there behind that boat. Really high trees, irretrievable. We've got the data. Uh, we don't know what happened. We're going to have a look at the log later. Nothing to do with me, was it? No. Uh, it just, for some reason. It just uh, sort of went. It just sort of went. <laughs> 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 fell in the trees. Uh, it wouldn't take off again uh, because it wasn't on level ground. It was caught up in the branches too high to try and retrieve it, we can't moor up because it's the forest, uh, so there we go. One dead drone. Everything's dying on me lately. <laughs> The M25 on this river today. <laughs> We've got a right convoy behind us. Uh, it's three boats behind us. Uh, one just overtaking us. Two in front of us. It's a lovely bit of the Thames. Did you ever read Wind in the Willows when you were a kid? I think so. Yes. You actually read a book. Well, I might have been read to me. <laughs> you didn't see it on TV. <laughs> Kenneth Graham, who wrote Wind in the Willows, used to live round here. And the inspiration for the book came from his boyhood days, just down the river, just exactly where we are now. And he used to bring his son here and read his stories to his son. Ah, which one would you be then? You'd be like, Mole, wouldn't you? Mooly, 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 mooly. I'd be Toad, because then you live in Toad Hall, don't you? <laughs> Those nice big grand white Victorian houses. There's four of them there. There's seven all together. And they're known as the Seven Deadly Sins. Oh. Because there was mucky goings on going on in those houses. Mucky as in mucky or as mucky in, as in... Oh, oh, oh I say. <laughs> <laughs> the late Prince of Wales, who later became King Edward VII. Right. Or Key V11, as it says in my book. Key V11. He supposed allegedly, according to my book, he allegedly had them built. All seven, one for all seven of his mistresses. Really? Yeah. I could live in one of them, a bit of a... 
You're, you're a bit too old for it now, aren't you? <laughs> It's about half an hour to get through that and that lovely white bridge in the background sorry we've been looked at is uh, Whitchurch toll bridge and it will cost you anything between 40 pence and four pounds to take your vehicle over that really I wonder how much it'd be to take a tank over it will it hold a tank I need a little, like a little tank like Gruber's little tank off hello hello <laughs> Gruber's I wonder if that would be a 40p or a £4 one. <laughs> Maple Syrup Lock. Maple Syrup? Yeah, and across there is Maple Syrup Manor. <laughs> uh, Maple Durham Lock. It was the first lock on the Thames to be mechanicalized. Mechanicalized? Me mechanicaled. Vavoomed. <laughs> powered up. Vavoomed. Given some oomph. I'm doing that a lot today, aren't you I? You are. Mechani mechanized, isn't it? Yes. Mechani it was the first lock on the River Thames to be mechanized. And the big manor on that side uh, has belonged, believe it or not, to the same family since 1490. I don't think it's like the same people, I think it's like, <laughs> like do you know what I mean? Like descendants of the same family, I think it's a different family. And we're now, we're kind of leading a group of boats, so come on, let's get some revs on. So we're going in the opposite direction. Uh, we, ju we just stopped to get some diesel and gas. And the guy on Fry's Island says that the moorings just around the corner are quite nice. We're gonna go and have a look at them. And if they're all right, we'll stay there. Yeah. If not, plan B, which was originally plan A, is to go down and moor outside Tesco. Yeah. That means going down another lock though. Uh, so we're gonna see what this is like. And if this is nice, we'll moor here. Yeah. I don't like it when this happens. The camera just goes dark and then we end up somewhere else. Different. It's like the Truman Show. True. What? What's it got to do with the Truman Show? Like we're show? just characters in some, I don't know, some strange and weird YouTube channel now appearing on Amazon Prime. <laughs> The last you saw of us, we were just mooring up at Tesco. The reason we didn't moor at Fry's Island on the park oh. 
We're, there was one space left and it was quite nice. It was a bit busy with elderly folk sat yeah. watching us from park benches. But it was all right until yeah, we moored up and tried uh, putting the, the mooring pin in. And it was the same as what happened further up the Thames, wasn't it? Yep. The ant's nest. Lords of the ants. Oh, ooh, it makes you itch, doesn't it? It does, it makes you... It. So we set off and we ended up at Tesco, which is where we said we were going to be anyway. Yeah. And it's all right. <laughs> and it's nice because we were, we did like three shopping trips, didn't we? Did like, yeah. So the boat's sitting a foot lower than it did before we got here. <laughs> and but, we got to see lots of viewers. Yeah, the loads of viewers. But it's, I don't know, there's something a bit house on the hill about it, isn't there? <laughs> there's, there's a few, there were a few dodgy characters. Yeah about and uh, a very nice man uh, who made space for us because there weren't any space yeah but there's no signs that we could see about mooring there and there was a, a parking enforcement officer i don't know why it's not a mooring enforcement I officer know. i think it's from the council uh, a parking info and it was like taking photo it wasn't like not a fan photo no it was like you shouldn't be here click 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 so we're expecting a bill for about i don't know 300 quid we were only there <laughs> two days weren't we and then we set off again Yes, and we got here. And we got here. But where is here? Did we... Look, looking at the shot, it looks like we're in the middle of a forest. <laughs> so did we carry on down the River Thames, or did we do a right onto the Kennet and Avon Canal? We're not telling you. <laughs> You'll find out next time. <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed your day with us again. If you have, and you're not already, uh, please subscribe to the channel. And then give the video a thumbs up. Yay, there you go. If you hit the notification bell, YouTube will let you know every time we release a new vlog. Uh, you can support the channel, help us in production of this rubbish, uh, by <laughs> clicking the uh, join button on our homepage on YouTube, or you can do it via Patreon. The link is above Sean's head. Take care of yourselves. We've got to try and find out where we are, and then we've got to go to a very important meeting. Yes, we have. Which will, Very important. Which we'll tell you about next week. You're going to like this. Yes. See you later. Bye. Ta-da. You can always tell when it's early because he's still sniffing. You're a morning sniffer, aren't you? <laughs> That sounds wrong, actually. <laughs> uh, just over the other side of the river, river it's because I'm going to say withy, rivy, rivy, <laughs> sithy. You look like Olive from On The Buses. <laughs> you all right? Itchy. Yeah. Can somebody tell me why I needed to know that? Lord! <laughs> Carries the great, great, great Western Main Line. We'll do that again. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Oh. Somewhere over the reeds. Du, 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 du. It's quite a hold house. Hold house. <laughs> We're still going. But it's got a right. It's got a, a right. <laughs> Ready? It's got a right one. <laughs> Go. You can't say that. Watch your boat through our window. <laughs> and they're called the Seven Deadly Sins. All right. Or other. Checking his boot. The late Prince Wales. Ah! We've been overtaken again. <laughs> Feel like old people. <laughs> and it just so happens we're passing a bowling green. That's a sign, isn't it's it? It's a sign, yeah. We need to buy slippers and a pipe. Why not? Bowl us not. Guess why? Bogey pie. <laughs> well, we didn't. We didn't. <sighs> We didn't. Brain just stuck then. Happens more as I'm getting towards 28. Oh, tell me about it. 28? <laughs> How long did that take? <laughs>